Hi, I'm Janice and today I have a quick little holiday yoga flow for you. So I've thrown on my holiday leggings, jump into something comfortable, hop on your mat, maybe you bring like a holiday blanket or some blocks and I'll meet you in Sukhasana. So easy cross-legged seated pose and when you arrive on your mat, we'll just take a second and check in here. So holidays are coming and it's a busy time for people sometimes, so we kind of rush from one thing to another. So today's a quick flow to get grounded and find a little space within us so that we're not rushing from one thing to another. Um, and just a time, good time to check in with ourselves, bring a little holiday magic. So we'll come into Sukhasana. You can sit up on a blanket if you're finding that you know you really have to pry your legs down or your chest up. Um, come up on a blanket or a block or a book or whatever you have at home and when we get there we'll lift up from the pelvic floor you can close your eyes draw your navel in and up lift your heart and let your shoulders come back together so nice and heavy on the back of the shoulders take a couple of deep breaths And as much as the holidays are mostly a wonderful time of year for most people, um, you know, even if it's not, now is a good time to choose, you know, how you want to feel, how you want this time of year to go, because it starts with us, so be deliberate here and think, you know, maybe you want a little holiday magic, maybe you've been really busy and you just want a nice calm holiday season, whether you celebrate anything or not. Um, Good time of year to check in with ourselves. So see if you can bring a little holiday magic, a little holiday joy. Deepen your breath. Take one more sweet breath and when you're ready, we'll flutter our eyes open and come into tabletop position. So rolling forward onto our hands and knees. We're gonna bring our shoulders over top of our wrists, hips over top of our knees press into the ground. So press into all ten fingers and draw your heart up between your shoulder blades. Draw your navel in and up towards the spine and we'll come into a cat cow today. So inhale, look forward, let your heart radiate forward and your tummy drop down. On your exhale, round through. So tailbone drops down, crown of the head comes down. Inhale, come forward. So it's a, it's a nice little spine warm-up today. And I totally encourage you, follow your own breath here. You know your body best. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ground through. We'll come back to center and we'll take it to the side. So bump your hips to the right, look over your left shoulder. Inhale to center, exhale to the other side. And play with it here, have some fun. It should feel really good, maybe you take a nice little stretch. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, draw up from our center. So that navel still keeps drawing up. Inhale to downward dog. So bend the knees, be really generous here, maybe like a, even a turbo dog here. Lift the hips up and back. Press into all ten fingers and see if you can create a little space between your shoulders and your ears. So you can pedal out the feet. But take a second here, find something new. On an inhale, we'll look forward. We're going to be deliberate. We're going to be choosing how we move here. So walk it up to the front of your mat. Come into forward fold, hips or hips, feet can be hip width apart, or they can be together, your choice. Maybe we walk it out a little bit here. Keep bringing the breath here. So if our breath is constricted, nothing's really gonna flow. So make sure that you know as we're moving mindfully here, we're still breathing. On an inhale, come up to half lift. So front body's drawing up towards the back body. 
Shoulders are away from the ears. You can bring your elbows up, hands to your thighs. One big sweet breath. Exhale, forward fold. And then press into all four corners of your feet. Really press in. Draw up here. So take your angel wings nice and wide. Exhale, hands to heart. And we'll just check in for a second. Take a breath. If you're holding tension anywhere, on an exhale, soften and let it go. Inhale, stick the arms up nice and wide. Exhale, forward fold. You got this. Plant your hands on the other side of the foot. We'll draw the left foot back. Right foot, or right knee over right ankle. And if this is more comfortable for you, if you're still working on building, you know, a little bit of length and opening in the hips, drop your back knee, bring it down to the ground. Uh, right knee is over right ankle. We're going to reach through the crown of our head. Look up. So heart's going to radiate forward. Maybe we welcome in some of the holiday magic. It's definitely snowing here. It's really beautiful. Reach through that back foot. And we're going to pivot on the back foot. So toes, your left toes are going to point up towards the left corner of your mat. Really press into your front foot. So press in and like the holiday wind, whoosh, we're going to come up into a beer dress up to warrior two. And check in with your foundation. So if right knee is over your right ankle. If you look down, you should be able to see your your right big toe, and we're pressing into the back corner of our, our left foot, drawing up from the arch, so that's instantly going to give us that kind of lift. We're going to lift up from the pelvic floor, draw our navel in and up, maybe bring a little smile here, shoulders over hips, and you can always play a little bit, so careful not to go over with your knee over your ankle, but you know, let your tailbone be heavy and explore. Inhale, we'll flip the front hand, reach forward, come up into Peaceful Warrior. Bringing a little peacefulness to our own season here. Nice deep breath, lifting up from all four corners. Hand, left hand can come behind, or it can slide down. But we're not collapsing, we're still keeping that integrity. Exhale, right elbow to right knee. We're going to open our chest. Look up, you can be here. If it's available to you, you can be here. You can also bring a block if you want to start to grow your practice. But really press into all four corners of the feet. Lift up from the right side of your torso. Inhale. Press into your front foot. Inhale. Come right back up. And then exhale. Like the wind. Whoosh. We're going to roll it down. So planting the hands, stepping the right foot back. We're going to lower down. You can always come to your knees first. And press into your pelvis. Press into your feet. It feels a little weird, but I know you got this. Hands come under your shoulders. Inhale to cobra. So just a nice little lift. Gaze is down. Exhale, lower. We're going to inhale. Press up to plank. Maybe you press up to modified plank. Uh, both are awesome. Keep the integrity. Keep lifting that heart up between the shoulder blades. And when you're ready, we'll meet in Downward Dog. So pedal it out here. This time we're going to step the left foot up so you can draw it up. Or maybe you step it up in a couple of steps. Either is great. Inhale. Look forward. Heart radiates forward. Again, if your back knee is lowered, that's totally okay. Looking forward, and maybe this time, uh, instead of welcoming in that holiday spirit, maybe we radiate it out. So don't underestimate the power of your mind here. We'll plant the back foot. So right toes point up towards the right corner of your mat. Inhale, bring the wind, bring the holiday flow here. Sweep it up. I'm going to turn on my mat just so you guys can see me. And again, we check in with our foundation. So right knee over, no, sorry, left knee over left ankle. Right foot pressing into the back corner, drawing up from the arch. So I'm really bringing that integrity in my back leg. Hips are heavy. Tailbone is heavy. But we're still drawing up from the pelvic floor. So we're creating that lift and that grounding all in one pose, all in one breath. And if your warrior two is here, 
Awesome. We all have a different ability in our hips. Uh, and with practice, it will definitely grow. But, you know, this is the same posture here as this is. So wherever you're at today is perfect. Inhale. Flip the front hand. Reach it forward. We're going to sweep it all the way up. Peaceful warrior. Drop from those arches. Press into all four corners. Exhale. Bring your left elbow to your left knee. Open up to the sky. Extended side angle. Should feel really good. Keep breathing. Maybe you come down. Inhale. Press into that front foot. All four corners. Draw up. And then just like Santa Claus. Woo, we're done again. Step the left foot back. Inhale. We're going to lower to the knees. Come back into a child's pose. So my knees are together. You're absolutely welcome to do an extended uh, child's pose with your knees as wide as the mat. And then we melt our heart and our head towards the earth. And if you need a block to come up to, um, go for it. You can always bring a, bring a block to give you that stability or a book if you're at home and you don't have a yoga block that totally works. Take the breath here. Maybe you draw your arms back. Let your shoulders be heavy. And you're going to press into the feet. Lift up from your centers. Lift up from your core, your heart. And just come in. Check in with your intention if you set one for the holidays. Um, maybe you create a little more of that feeling. And we're going to walk it out to tabletop. Draw your shoulders, uh, or your heart up between your shoulders. Draw your navel up towards the spine. Curl the toes, and we'll send it up into downward dog. So, last downward dog here. Maybe you frolic a little. Press into all ten fingers. Draw the hips up and away. Create a little space between your shoulders and your ears. One more sweet breath. And then we're going to walk our feet up towards the center of our mat and walk our hands back. Inhale, really press into all four corners of your feet. Rise up nice and strong. Exhale, we're going to bring our hands to our heart. So I'm going to pivot just to, just to see you guys. And I think for a lot of us who do celebrate this time of year, uh, we have trees, so it wouldn't be a good holiday flow if we didn't do tree folks. So we're going to walk our toes together. Put a thumbprint between your heels so you're, you know, you're not really clicking your heels together. You're still welcome to, but uh, go for a little stability and put a thumbprint between your heels. Press into all four corners of your feet. Draw up from the pelvic floor. So we're still creating that lift. And then when you're ready, we'll peel the right foot up, press into the standing leg. So your left leg nice and strong here, press into all four corners. Draw your right foot up. Maybe you catch your knee and rotate the ankle. But I'm still lifting from my left hip, so I'm not collapsed into it. But I'm still generating that nice lift. And then when you're ready, we'll open up into tree pose. So if your tree pose is here today, awesome. If you're here, fabulous. Uh, avoid going on the knee. We don't want to push our ligaments out. That's really unkind for the knee. And then maybe with practice, you grow to here. So wherever you are today is perfect. Honor it, enjoy it, and press your left leg into your right foot and your right foot into your left leg. So we're hugging the midline here. Hands can be on the hips for a little bit of stability. Or maybe you grow your tree today. So wherever you are, just finding a little bit of, a little bit of space. Deepen your breath. If it helps, pick a dristi or pick a focal point. Maybe on the floor, maybe on the wall. 
Maybe on the ceiling. I picked a nice holiday red Christmas ornament. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, we'll float it down. Shake it out. You guys are doing awesome. One more side, we'll take it to the left side. So plant the right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg up. See if you can really draw up from the arch of that right leg, lift up from the hip. Maybe you catch your knee. Maybe today, even if you're here. Sure. Wherever you're at is perfect. And then we'll come into our tree pose. So again, you can be here. You can be here. Or maybe with practice, someday you bring your foot to your thigh. Just avoid the knee. We don't want to hurt ourselves for the holidays. It's all about being kind. We don't want to hurt ourselves ever, but inhale, maybe you grow your tree. Hips come forward, we're not tucking back. Couple of breaths. With control on an exhale, we'll rain it down, shake it out. And then we'll walk our feet out a little bit wider than our hips and our toes can turn out. And you know, with all the busyness, it can be hard sometimes to, to stay grounded. So we're really going to move from our center here and be mindful of how we're moving. Because if we can do that on the mat here, we can do it off the mat in a regular day. So from our center, wherever that is for you, we're going to let ourselves get heavy. We're going to let ourselves move down. Still creating this lift, heart still lifted, but we move from our center down into garland pose. So yoga squat here. If your feet are flat on the ground, awesome. Uh, if they're not, if maybe you're up, that's totally okay too. It's a uh, really good yoga for the feet here today too. So you can bring your hands to your prayer position. Elbows are going to push on the inner thigh, inner thigh is going to push back on your elbows, but we still create this lift with our heart, so we're not collapsing down into this, but we're really finding that integrity. Take a couple of breaths. You guys are doing so awesome. We're almost there. And then when you're ready, we'll take our hands to the ground. Walk it around and come onto our back. So being very mindful in our transition. Slide down the mat here. And we'll bring our feet to the mat and our knees up towards the sky. Walk our feet out and let our knees fall in. It should feel really good after we did a couple of hip opening postures here. So, find a little movement that feels good. And then we'll walk our feet back in line with our hips. Maybe we take our arms out to the sides and we'll let our knees fall to the left. So a little spinal twist here and you don't have to force the twist. What you can do is just let the twist happen and deepen the breath, and your breath will go to where you need it. So trust yourself, trust your breathing. On an inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take our knees to the right. And again, letting your breath do all the work. So yeah, we're in a spinal twist, but if we deepen our breath, we find a little more space and we don't have to force it. We just get to enjoy it. On an inhale, we'll come back to center. Slide the right leg out, slide the left leg out. Maybe you snuggle your shoulders in and under your heart. Palms can be up or down, whatever you choose. And for a minute or two, we'll just soften. 
Coming into Shavasana. Relax everything here. And if you want to stay here longer, I totally invite you to do so. You can stay as long as you'd like. Otherwise, we'll wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. And when you're ready, we'll turn on to one side. Press up. And I'll meet you in Sukhasana. So... Coming back to where we started the day, uh, just a nice way to get centered and whatever you're doing for the next few days, several days, uh, if you're celebrating or if you're not or you're with family or loved ones or you're going solo for a little while, um, I really hope you enjoy this time of year. I hope you keep putting into yourself and bring a little magic wherever you go because you can. You're totally capable of it um, and from my heart to yours. Lots of love. Namaste.